Welcome to Nosastra, Commander Shepard. We've been instructed to waive all docking and administration fees for your visit. My name is Karina. If you need information about the area, it would be my pleasure to assist you. Who instructed you to waive the fees? The order came from Liara Tassoni, who paid all fees on your behalf. She also asked that I direct you to speak with her at your convenience. She's near the trading floor. Do you have any recommendations about what to do on Nos Astra? Our trading center is directly ahead. You'll find restaurants and shops nearby as well. I suggest you browse our shopping kiosks. You can find things on Nos Astra that you can't find anywhere else in the galaxy. What can you tell me about Nos Astra? It's an exciting city. We see a lot of new cultures and goods because of our proximity to the Terminus systems. At the same time, Ilium is still in a sorry world. You should be as safe here as you would be on the Citadel. For your own safety, however, I recommend against signing anything. What's so dangerous about signing something? Ilium is a free trade world commander. Contract term requirements are more relaxed here than on other planets. It's a small price to pay for keeping our competitive edge in goods from the Terminus systems. You mentioned trading. What gets traded on Ilium? Anything you can imagine, Commander. Ilium is a wonderful world for those who can afford it. In order to remain competitive as a Terminus Systems port, we've relaxed many of the standards you'd find on other Asari worlds. Most drugs are legal, provided they are labeled properly. You can buy almost any weapon or technology. You can even buy indentured servants. I can't believe an Asari world would allow slavery. We try to avoid calling it slavery. All indentured servants on Ilium have voluntarily agreed to a term of service. Most choose indentured service as a means to pay off debt or avoid imprisonment. A contract holder is responsible for the well-being of her servants, and a servant's duties are agreed upon before the contract is signed. You said Liara was here? What's she doing? Liara is one of Nosastra's most respected information brokers. Nosastra is based upon trade. Information is valuable currency, and Liara has done quite well. As I said, you'll find her near the trading floor. She was looking forward to seeing you. I'm on a mission. Can you help me find someone? I can help you find major entertainment centers or stores, but I'm afraid I can't point you to individual people. Liara is excellent at that type of work, however. I imagine she can help you. Thank you. Again, welcome to our city, Commander. Please enjoy your stay. Customs records indicated just a car named Samara is visiting this port, Shepard. Your former teammate, Liara Tassoni, may have more information. Her office overlooks the trading floor. You may wish to speak with her regarding the whereabouts of Thane Krios, the assassin on your dossier, as well. And that by limiting the slave trade, the Council is violating their cultural rights. The indentured servitude market closed... Hello, Commander Shepard. Liara will be pleased to see you. You're Liara's assistant? Yes. Liara relies upon me to acquire useful intelligence. I don't have her network of contacts, but I supply her with supplemental data. It's really an honor to work with her. What's Liara's reputation here on Ilium? She is greatly respected. In a few short years, she's amassed a sizable network of connections. She could have even more political power than she already wields if she weren't so focused on her personal goals. But I believe she should tell you about that, not me. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. I'll make it simple. Either you pay me, or I flay you alive. With my mind. Shepard! Nixeris, hold my calls. My sources said you were alive, but I never believed. It's very good to see you. You have sources now? A few. Sources, contacts, even a little hired muscle. I've been working as an information broker. It's paid the bills since you... well, for the past two years. And now you're back, gunning for the Collectors with Cerberus. That's not exactly public knowledge. Neither is you being alive, Shepard. Information is my business now. And if you need information on finding people, I'm happy to help. There's an Asari named Samara here on Ilium. Do you know where I could find her? Samara? Yes. She arrived recently and registered with Tracking Officer Dara. 
You can find Dara at the transportation hub. I'm looking for Thane Krios. He's supposed to be here on Ilium. The assassin? Yes. He arrived here a few days ago. My sources tell me he may be targeting a corporate executive, Nasana Dantius. He contacted a woman named Serena. Serena has an office in the cargo transfer levels. Perhaps she can tell you where Krios is. That was all just off the top of your head? I'm a very good information broker, Shepard. The world of intrigue isn't that different from a dig site. Except that the dead bodies still smell. Thanks for the help. That's all I needed to know. Of course. If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. What about you, Liara? I could use your help on this mission. I can't, Shepard. I'm sorry. I have commitments here. Things I need to take care of. What kind of things do you need to take care of? Are you in trouble? No, no trouble. But it's been a long two years. I had things to do while you were gone. I have debts to repay. Listen, if you want to help, I need someone with hacking expertise. Someone I can trust. If you could disable security at key points around Ilium, you could get me information I need. That would help me a great deal. What's this all about, Liara? Can't you just talk to me? Don't you think I want to, Shepard? This isn't because I don't trust you. This is Ilium. Anything I say is probably being recorded. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a server will open somewhere nearby for a short time. You can download data from there, if you hurry. Thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. I'll talk to you later, Liara. Sometimes you say these things, and I don't know. Maybe it's because you had a Batarian father. Wow, you're pulling that on me? My father was an excellent caretaker. And she's the last of a dying breed. Can I help you with something? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. Wait, why? Do you have a problem, or... Did she kill somebody already? Relax, I just need to speak with her. Good. Samara's the first Justicar I've seen on Ilium. If I'm lucky, things will stay peaceful. She went to the commercial spaceport a few hours ago. If you want to get there, the pedestal on that balcony will summon a cab. Just be polite when you meet her. Just a cars embody our highest laws, and they usually stay in Asari space. She's not used to dealing with aliens. Is Samara really that dangerous? If you follow the laws, you've got nothing to fear, and a Just a car would die without hesitation to protect the innocent. But their code orders them to stop lawbreakers, with lethal force in most cases. And everyone skirts the law somehow on Ilium. If someone tried to bribe her, she'd be obliged to gun them down as a matter of honor. I'm hoping to avoid that. Why are you worried about other species coming into contact with her? If a Justicar kills an Asari, none of us questions it. But if she killed a human... Do you think the Alliance would understand her actions and respect her authority? You can't even figure out your own religions. It's a big, diplomatic incident just waiting to happen. Tell me about the Justicars. They're a monastic order. They've given up their families and possessions to follow their code. Most of them are on some lifelong mission, but they'll always stop to deal with any injustice they encounter, which can be a problem. In some ways, they're a lot like the Spectres, undertaking personal missions. Spectres are authorized by the Council. Who do Justicars represent? What? That's, like, I don't know a good human metaphor. They represent their code, our code. It's closer to a religious group than a legal branch. No law-abiding Asari would question a Justicar's orders. Nobody becomes a Justicar for personal gain. And they die before breaking their oaths. I'm looking for Samara. Like I said, she's at the commercial spaceport. You can hail a cab at the pedestal on that balcony over there. Where do you think you're going? I'm taking my goods to Omega, Detective. You're not going anywhere, Merchant. Not until I solve this murder. I had nothing to do with that. It was those mercenary thugs you can't seem to get rid of. The victim was your business partner, and I'm not ruling you out. I'll let you know when you can leave. 
what about that Justicar that just showed up? Everyone says she might go crazy and start killing. I need to leave. She'll only kill the unjust, so I'm sure you have nothing to worry about, Pitney Four. Find me in the station if you need me. Nice guns. Try not to use them in my district. What can I do for you? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. If you've got a score to settle with Samara, take it somewhere else. I've got more than enough trouble here already. I need to recruit Samara for my mission. Then we'll be on our way. Justicars usually work alone, but they are drawn to impossible causes. Best kind. If you're getting her out of my district, I'll get you to her ASAP. She's at the crime scene. You're letting her into a sealed crime scene? I'm a cop. I'll work with the Justicar all I can. Besides, she's been looking at crime scenes longer than our two lifespans combined. She knows how to handle herself. You're awfully anxious to get Samara out of your district. My bosses want me to detain her. They're worried she'll cause some kind of cross-species incident. But her Justicar code won't let her be taken into custody. If I try it, she'll have to kill me. I have no interest in dying, so if you lure her away with some big noble cause before I have to carry out my orders, I'm thrilled to help you. Your superiors are sending you to certain death for no good reason. You have a right to disobey. We can disobey suicidal orders. Why wasn't I told? Not often enough. Most of the time I'm not being stupid about it. I can't say the same for Anaya's superiors. I'm a cop and I know my duty. I've been ordered to detain her, and I will. Unless I can get her to leave my district first. How do I get to the crime scene? It's around the corner. Go outside, take a left. Look for the police line. I'll send word to let you in. Be careful. The local Eclipse mercs have been all over those back alleys lately. You mentioned a crime scene. A Volus merchant was murdered. It was a professional hit, so we're not dealing with junkies looking for a score. I'm thinking the local Eclipse mercenary band. Can't prove it, but if the Volus was dirty too, maybe it's just a deal gone bad. What do I need to know about these mercenaries? Eclipse mercs are professional killers. They sell red sand, trade illegal weapons tech, and smuggle criminals off-world. They control some back alleys around here. I haven't been able to find their nest yet, though. What can you tell me about Justicars? They're a kind of... humans might call them warrior monks. They live by a complex code that compels them to punish the wicked and protect the pure. They've been a part of Asari culture for millennia. I read adventure stories about Justicars when I was a child. What do you think of Samara herself? She's been a Justicar longer than three of your lifespans. Whoever she was before she swore that oath, that person is dead. People seem nervous about Samara's presence. Asari admire Justicars, but we also know that they kill without mercy when they find corruption. And Justicars never leave a sorry space. Why is she here? I doubt it's to investigate the murder of some corrupt Volas. I have to go. Good luck. We better find Samara before the detective goes after her. What do you want? I've already got mercs wanting to kill me like they did my partner. I don't need any more trouble. As if that weren't enough, some Asari Justicar showed up this morning. All the natives are scared of her. I've got to get off of this world. Has Samara actually done anything yet? The Asari say that Justicars are lethal in a fight. And if they so much as smell corruption, they start shooting. The thing is, 
Corruption isn't that hard to find around here. Tell me how to find the Jessica. She's in the alley where my business partner was murdered. A detective sealed the area, so you'll have to talk with her if you want to go there. Why do you think it was mercenaries? Dagny Kerr was cutting through a back alley last night when someone killed him with a shotgun. I saw his body this morning. They'd used modded rounds. That means Eclipse Mercs. You must know something about these Eclipse. I occasionally do business with them. But only in well-lit places. With my guards. And only after the creds clear. This is a scummy bunch, even by Merc standards. They sell red sand, all kinds of illegal items, and they are all cold-blooded killers. Why would these Mercs kill him? And why do you think they're coming after you, too? I have no idea. We're innocent merchants. But they killed him, so they must be after me, too. I have to work the angles and get out of here. You don't seem too broken up about your partner's death. Dagny Kerr knew the risks when he took to spacing. Right now, my worry is me. It's unhealthy to be a Volus in the Nosastra spaceport right now. Especially a Volus named Pitney Four. I should go. Cops don't admit it, but the Eclipse sisters run this here. Anaya told us to let you through. Watch yourself. There's Merc activity back here. We're waiting on backup. Those were my best troops. Tell me what I need to know, and I will be gone from here. Where did you send her? You think I'd betray her? She would hurt me in ways you can't imagine. The name of the ship. Your life hangs on the answer, Lieutenant. You can kill me, but one of us will take you down, Justicar. <laughs> What was the name of the ship she left on? Go to hell! Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. <laughs> My name is Samara, a servant of the Justicar Code. My quarrel is with these Eclipse sisters, but I see three well-armed people before me. Are we friend or foe? That Merc was wounded and helpless. Do you just kill anyone who won't help you? If my cause is important enough, yes. Are you different? I've killed enemies, but always with good reason. I answer to a code that is clearly defined. If my actions are true to that code, I am just. If they are not, I am unjust. I don't pretend it is a simple matter, or that it seems right to everyone. But I sleep well at night, and that is more than most can say. How may I be of service to you? I'm going up against suicidal odds, and I need the best. 
That's you. I sense the truth in what you say, and it humbles me. But I seek an incredibly dangerous fugitive. I cornered her here, but the Eclipse sisters smuggled her off-world. I must find the name of the ship she left on before the trail goes cold. I wish you were willing to go with the human, Justicar. I've been ordered to take you into custody if you won't leave. You risk a great deal by following your orders, Detective. Fortunately, I will not have to resist. My code obligates me to cooperate with you for one day. After that, I must return to my investigation. I won't be able to release you that soon. You won't be able to stop me. Uh, the human is lost here. Can one of you clarify? I was trying to convince her to leave with you, but just a car is in their code. The detective has been ordered to detain me. I can't force her to disobey an order. Asaria, stupid. Your code just means you kill her tomorrow instead of today. I am afraid so. There must be some way we can all get what we need. I see a way. While I am in custody, you find the name of that ship. Do that, and I will join you. Then the code will be satisfied. Can you tell me more about Justicars? We are individuals who have forsworn family, children, and worldly possessions aside from some weapons and armor. We travel a sorry space righting wrongs as defined by the ancient code we have each memorized. Ilium may be dominated by Asari, but it isn't in Asari space. My quarry fled to this place. I am sworn to hunt her down, and I will follow anywhere she goes. It is rare for a Justicar to leave Asari space, but I must follow my oath. If I suffer for it, I will accept that. A moment ago you refused to give up your investigation, but now you'll swear to follow me? If I stay, I will be compelled to kill many innocents to escape incarceration. Like me. I may be killed, and my quarry would be free to continue murdering. If I come with you and survive your mission, I can resume my investigation. To do that, I need the ship's name to track her to her next hiding place. It is a simple choice. Makes sense. This Justicar code seems quite strict. It may seem so to you, but this is my oath. The expedient path may be fast and simple. That does not make it the right path. Do you have any leads? The Volus merchant Pitney Four is tied to this. Eclipse mercs are preparing to kill him. Get the truth out of him. He may know a way into the Eclipse base. Well, I've got to get back to my station. And I guess I've got to take you with me. Thank you, Shepard. Again, Earth Clan. Did you speak to the detective? Why are the mercs after you? I know nothing about any mercenaries, Earth Clan. I'm merely an innocent merchant trying to make his way in life. The Eclipse are out for your blood. I need your help to break into their base. Shouldn't we work together? Yes. You're right, Earth Clan. I'm desperate. I've got angry mercs after me, and now this Asari Justicar. Let's talk. I smuggled a chemical onto Ilium that boosts biotic powers in combat. It also is toxic. I may have, um, forgotten to mention that to the Eclipse, so they are perturbed and want to kill me. Tell me about this chemical you brought in. It's called Minogen X3. And it's very, very, um, illegal. Anyone with biotic powers who is exposed to it becomes more powerful. The higher your exposure, the more powerful you get. But too much of it, you die. That's the part that the Eclipse found disagreeable. Sounds like you're a swindler, and your actions finally caught up with you. True and true. But I haven't survived as a merchant this long without being able to tell when there's a deal in the making. You want something. 
The Eclipse recently smuggled someone off-world. I need the name of the ship she left on. I don't know about their people smuggling operations. They must keep records in their base. I do have a pass card they issued me to bring my goods in. Well, I, I had to return that one, but I happened to make a copy. Take it, but be careful. Each Eclipse sister commits a murder to earn her uniform. They are all dangerous. I didn't fire my weapon once. I pretended to because the other Eclipse sisters were watching, but I didn't really shoot. Whatever. Pretend to keep breathing. I'm not one of them. I'm new. I thought being Elnora the mercenary would be cool, but I didn't know what they were really like. What do they do here that you don't like, Elnora? I thought we'd be flying around the galaxy shooting up bad guys and stuff, right? But no. They just sell red sand and illegal weapons tech. They even smuggled an Ardat Yakshi off-world. What does Ardat Yakshi mean? It's an ancient Asari word for something that... I thought was just a superstition until now. It means demon of the night winds. I didn't think they were real, but 
The boss said this scary lady was one. What ship did they use for the smuggling? Wow, I have no idea. It was a few days ago, and like I said, I'm new. They didn't tell me anything. What do they do here that you don't like, Elnora? I thought we'd be flying, but no. They just sell red sand and illegal weapons tech. They even smuggled an Ardat Yakshi off-world. Get out of here, Elnora. If you so much as jaywalk, I will find you. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm going. Thank you. This is valuable. You're dead! Put them down! 
They've seen us. This should slow him down. Requesting assistance. Rerouting power. Gunship above. Looks like a shipping manifest. It shows the Pitney 4 sold 2,000 units of Minigen X3 to the Eclipse, along with 600 units of red sand. This isn't the information Samara needs, but it proves that the Volus is a criminal. Valuable information to the Volus. We've got to keep moving. Think things, and they happen. Fear me, lesser creatures, for I am biotics made flesh. You need help. You need help. For you stand before the mightiest biotic ever. Yes, the Asari injecting so many drugs into me was terrifying. But then I began to smell my greatness. They may laugh when I walk over, but they don't know what I know in my head. But I know that I am amazingly powerful. Fear me! Are you part of Pitney Forest Trade Group? When I was mortal, I worked for Pitney. Poor soul is probably terrified that I have not returned. Don't think he's reported anything. Face it. Pitney will take money over friends every time. Bah! I will wreak a just revenge upon his people. But first, the leader of these mercenaries is in the next room. I shall toss Wasea about like a rag doll. This idiot is no challenge to anyone. I will tear her apart. My biotics are unstoppable! Charge. An ill wind blows upon Wasea, captain of the Eclipse Sisters. After me!
Everything's gone to hell since we smuggled that filthy creature off world. First a Justicar shows up. Now you. At least I can take pleasure in turning your head into a poopy mass. Time to fight. Engage your crossbow. Oh, because of shot, ran away. Crazy Asari wanted to find? Should we head back to the police station and give it a name, or look around first? We've got time. Let's look around some more. to the spaceport. Let's go. I wanted to be a Justicar when I was young. Every sorry does. Thank you for removing the Eclipse threat, Earth Clan. It will take them months to rebuild their organization. Also, merely out of curiosity, when you were poking about, did you perhaps run across a shipping manifest that belongs to me? You never know when something like this might come in handy. If it might change your mind, EarthClan, returning that manifest would be very profitable for you. If you give it to the detective, her reward will be a pat on the back. I've got the name of the ship. Your fugitive left here two days ago on the AML Demeter. Shepard, you impress me. You fulfilled your part of the bargain, and I will fulfill mine. I am ready to leave immediately, if that will satisfy your superiors, Detective. You're free to go, Justicar. It has been an honor having you in my station. And it's nice you didn't kill me, too. The Eclipse smuggled an Ardat Yakshi off-world. She's who you're really after, isn't she? You continue to impress. Yes, I was here tracking the Ardat Yakshi. She is a dangerous criminal, and I will bring her to justice. After your mission is complete, of course. You're sworn to follow a code that dictates your decisions. But I'm running a military operation. You wonder if I will refuse to follow orders because of my code? I can't allow that to happen. By agreeing to follow you, I am compelled to sway the most difficult of Justicar oaths, the third oath of subsumation. After I do, your orders will override the code. You should know, however, that I'll still give you my opinion if the situation warrants. The Normandy is docked near the main trading floor. I'll see you aboard. I must be sworn to your service, so that I am never forced to choose between your orders and the code. By the code, 
I will serve you, Shepard. Your choices are my choices. Your morals are my morals. Your wishes are my code. I never thought I'd see a Justicar swear an oath like that. If you make me do anything extremely dishonorable, I may need to kill you when I'm released from my oath. I can see that this is a very important act, Samara. Thank you. Truly, the life of a Justicar can get lonely. I admit I am looking forward to serving with a company of honorable heroes. Shall we return to your ship? I need to speak to the detective. Thanks for getting Samara out of my district. I can tell my granddaughters about meeting a Justicar. And you've just upped my chances of living long enough to have grandkids. Happy to help, Detective. You don't have an easy job down here. Tell me about it. Still, you and Samara take bigger risks than I'll ever have to. Okay, enough with all the congratulations. I've still got a spiraling crime rate. I have proof that Pitney Four smuggled in red sand and illegal weapons tech. I'll send in some officers to arrest him and his cohorts. This is a big help, Shepard. I can't do much to thank you, but we do have a small discretionary bounty fund. Take this. Welcome to the Normandy, Samara. We've studied your profile extensively. With your skills, I think you'll be an excellent addition to our team. Thank you. From an organization such as yours, that is high praise indeed. I've seen Samara's biotic powers at work. They're substantial. We still don't know what we're going to find when we hit the Collectors. I will be prepared for whatever we encounter. Where shall we put you? A room that looks out on the great empty void would be most comforting. Put her in the observation room on deck three. Thank you. I must meditate on the day's events. <laughs> 